just to be able to get one or two percent more efficiency could make or break us profit wise there and make the difference between a good year and a bad year. So just that just that one or two percent difference or benefit of a new piece of technology uh, will, can really help us out or uh, save us some money. That's what Jerry Nyer, co-owner of Nyer Farms, appreciates about new technology that could be used in farms across Michigan. It will take a few years, I think, for us to fully realize the benefit of such a technology as drones. Uh, my worry is that there will be legislation put into place before we have the ability to be able to fully utilize this technology and limit our access to that technology. And that's why another Michigan farmer, Jeff Vanderwerf, went to Washington, D.C. last week to testify in front of the Senate Aviation Subcommittee. Vanderwerf says using drones for managerial purposes on farms is currently illegal under federal aviation administration regulations. He says using drones would help in managing crop needs by seeing the fields from the air. Agriculturalists all over the country, no matter what crop they're raising, and particularly in northern Michigan, will um, will be able to benefit from, from this type of technology. In the Traverse City area, I'm sure uh, you're familiar with uh, the cherry orchards and apple orchards that abound through that area. The drones are handy because we can get above and actually see what's going on. Vanderwerf says there are concerns with how the data collected by drones will be used by other public entities, but Vanderwerf believes the benefits outweigh the negatives. Specifically as a young farmer, I'm, I'm passionate about technology overall. Um, I'm driven every day by the goal of how do I do a better job farming than what I did yesterday. In Isabella County, Charlie Lapastora for Up North Live News on ABC 29 and 8.